Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video presentation is going to be about setting up a WordPress container. We're going to use Turnkey Linux's LXC containers on our Proxmox server. If you haven't already done so, watch our video presentation about setting up a container. The link is provided here on screen. But if you would not like to type the link, look above, there should be a card. Or check out the comments section and there'll be a link. With that being said, you are going to need to download a container template. The Debian 10 Turnkey WordPress 16.1-1 AMD64 template is going to need to be downloaded in order to follow this tutorial. Your first step after setting up your container will be at your Proxmox web interface. As you can see, container ID 110 WordPress is going to be the container that we're going to work on today. To begin working with this container, as always, you're going to press start and then click on console to load your no VNC console interface. You're going to get a screen that looks something like this after a few seconds of floating. Go ahead and use your login credentials that you set up during the configuration of your container. After you log in, the first screen you're going to see is going to be this one. You're going to want to enter a password. Now, as you can see, there are a few different things. You need to have an uppercase and lowercase, some numbers and some symbols in order for this password to work. Your password also must be eight characters long. It's going to ask you for a confirmation of that same password. Now, the next password you are to enter is going to be for your admin login on your WordPress server. Go ahead, the same requirements are required for this password. I would suggest making this password a really strong password as one of the most common attacks against WordPress servers on the internet is an admin login credential brute force. Go ahead and confirm that password. And now it's going to ask you for an email account. You can enter your own here. And what it will do is it will email you with alerts on the server. I did not mention this before, but if you need to select apply and it's not just automatically selected, use your tab key. Tab over until apply is highlighted and then press enter. You can also press A in many cases and that will click the button. Now it's going to ask you for an API key for your turnkey backup and migration. We're not going to be using this feature today so we're just going to hit tab and move to skip and then go ahead and press enter. Now it's going to ask you for an email address for security alerts. This goes directly to turnkey.org. So we're just going to use a bogus address. If you would like to receive these security alerts from turnkey, go ahead and enter your email address and enable. I'm hitting skip. Now, this is kind of an important one to decide to use depending on what you would like to do. You're going to be installing security updates. If you are planning on making a target for use on WordPress hacking, 
later on on your home lab server as so many people use home lab servers for. You're going to want to hit skip so you have vulnerabilities. If you're planning to use this for either a home website or maybe a production website on the internet, you're going to most definitely want to install. Again, to navigate between these two different options, you can use the I and S key on your keyboard, as well as tab and enter to select the one you want. We're selecting install today. Finally, we're presented with this screen. Take note of the IP address here and the port numbers for later configurations down the road depending on what you want to do. Then click enter or press enter at the advanced menu and scroll down to your reboot option and reboot your server now that you have WordPress installed on it. You'll be asked for one last time to confirm that you want to reboot and yes you do. Once you have gotten this screen here, you are ready to attempt your first login to your WordPress server. Enter HTTPS colon slash slash your server's IP address, in this case 10.10.2.59 slash WP dash admin. This is the path to every WordPress admin panel. Then you're going to want to enter admin and the password you set up in step two of this configuration. Once you have logged in, you're going to be presented with this screen here. This is your WordPress user interface. If you don't know how to use this and you are making a home website or a production website, go ahead and watch many of the tutorials on YouTube about setting up and configuring WordPress. Today, I'm simply going to show you how to update in case you need to know. It's pretty straightforward, but I like to show this in all tutorials as it's fairly important for security. So go ahead and click on the updates right underneath home on the left hand side of the screen. You're also going to want to do this, in my case, under plugins, but let's click on the updates here. Once you click on updates, you're going to be presented with this screen. Go ahead, about three quarters of the way down the screen, you see update now. Click update now, and the script is going to run and update your server. After your server has been updated, or even before if you're interested. You can go again up to your URL bar and you can enter HTTPS colon slash slash your server IP address and view the website as you have put it out to the public. I hope you enjoyed today's video presentation about setting up WordPress using an LXC on your Proxmox home server. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to help virtualize everything grow and provide more educational content to the public on home lab servers, technology, and other fun technology related topics. As always, I hope you enjoyed tonight's video and have a good night.